I said nothing happened, didn't you hear me? Don't you feel well? I'm tired. To the death. I couldn't make it. I just couldn't make it. Where were you all day? You were terrible. I got as far as a little above yonders and I stopped for a cup of coffee. Maybe it was the coffee. What? I suddenly couldn't drive anymore. Car going off onto the shoulder, you know? Maybe use the steering again. I don't think Angela knows the student No, it's me, it's me. Suddenly I realize I'm going 60 miles an hour. I don't remember the last five minutes. I'm... I can't seem to keep my mind to it. They get your glasses, dear. You didn't go get your new glasses. Oh, no, I, I see everything. I, I came back 10 miles an hour. It took me nearly four hours from yonder.
in the greatest country in the world, a young man of such personal attractiveness gets lost. He's such a hard worker, too. That, that is one thing about him. He's not lazy. Oh, never. I'll have a nice talk with him in the morning, and I will get him a job selling. Hmm? He could be big in no time. Remember how they used to follow him around in high school when he smiled at one of them, their faces lit up? When he walked down the street. Willie, I got a new type of American cheese today. It's whipped. Oh, why do you get American when I like Swiss? Well, I thought you'd like a change. Well, I don't want to change. I want Swiss cheese. <laughs> why am I always being contradicted? Why don't you open a window in here, for God's sake? Oh, uh, maybe they got a box in here. Bricks and windows, windows and bricks. Uh, streets lined with cars. Not a breath of fresh air in the neighborhood. The grass don't grow anymore. Can't raise a carrot in the backyard. They should have had a law against apartment houses. Do you remember those two beautiful elm trees out there? When Piff and I hung the swing between them. Yeah, it's like a million miles from the city. They should have arrested the builder for cutting those down. He massacred the neighborhood. One more, I think, of those days. This time of year, we buy locks, wisteria, peonies that come out, daffodils. What a fragrance in this room. Well, people had to move somewhere. Nah, there's more people now. People, I just think... There are more people. That's what's ruining this country. The population's getting out of control. The competition is maddening. God, you smell the stink from that apartment house. Another one on the other side. Go down and try. And be quiet. You're not worried about me, are you, sweetheart? You got too much on the ball to worry about, dear. You are my foundation and my support, Linda. Just try to relax. You make mountains out of molehills. Well, I won't fight with him anymore. If he wants to go back to Texas, let him go. Hmm? Find his way. Sure, sure. Certain men just take longer to get started in life. Thomas Edison, I think. B.F. Goodrich. Hey, one of them was deaf. <laughs> I'll put my money on Biff. <laughs> I think Pop is back. Darling, if it's warm Sunday, let's take a drive and open the windshields and take lunch. No, the windshields don't open on the new cars. But you opened it today. Me? I didn't. Now, isn't that peculiar? It's the most remarkable. What, dear? It's the most remarkable thing. What, dear? I, I was thinking of the, the Chevy, 1928, when I had that red Chevy. Isn't that funny? I, I swear I was driving that Chevy. It's nothing, dear. Something must have reminded you. Remarkable. Remember those days, Linda? Remember the way. Biff used to Simonize that car, huh? The dealer refused to believe there were 80,000 miles on it. Okay, you close your eyes, and I will be right up. Jesus, maybe he smashed up the car again. She's on the middle shelf, dear. about him, you know, Biff. Uh, his eyes are going. No, I've driven with him. He sees all right. He just doesn't keep his mind on him. I drove into the city with him last week. He stops at a green light, and then it turns red, and he goes. Maybe he's colorblind. Pop? Why, he's got the finest eye for color in the business. You know that. Uh, sleep. You're still not sour on Dad, are you, Biff? He's all right, I guess. Yes, sir. 80,000 miles. 82,000. <laughs> you smoking? You want one? Yeah, I can never sleep with this spell it. What a Simonizing job. Funny fifth, you know, us sleeping in here again. The old beds. All the talk that went across those two beds, huh? Mm -hmm. Our whole lives. 
A lot of dreams and plans. About 500 women would like to know what was said in this room. <laughs> hey, remember that big Betsy something? What the hell was the name? O over there on Bushwick Avenue. With the collie dog. That's the one. I got you in there. Remember that? Yeah, that was my first time. I think. Boy, there was a pig. You taught me everything I know about women. Now, don't forget that. That you forget how bashful you used to be, especially around the girl. Oh, I still am, Biff. Go on. I just control it, that's all. Oh. <laughs> ah, I think I got less bashful than you got more so. What happened, Biff? Where's the old humor, the old confidence? What's the matter? Why is Dad mocking you all the time? He's not mocking you. He's... Every time I say something, there's a twist of mockery on his face. I, I can't get near him. <laughs> I think the fact that you... Not subtle, but you're still kind of up in the air. There's one or two other things to press in him, Happy. What do you mean? Never mind, just don't lay it all on me. But I think if you just got subtle, I mean, is there any kind of a future for you out there? I don't know what the future is, you know. I don't know what I'm supposed to want. What do you mean? I spent six or seven years working myself up. Shipping cut. Salesmen, you know, business one kind or the other. And it's a measly matter of existence. Step on that subway, the hot mornings of summer, to devote your whole life to keeping stock and making phone calls or selling or buying. To sacrifice 50 weeks a year for the sake of a two week vacation when all you really want is to be outdoors with your shirt off. And always having to get ahead of the next stuff. And still, that, that's how you build the future. Well, you really enjoyed our farm? Are you content out there? I've had 20 or 30 different kinds of jobs since I left home before the war happened. And it always turns out the same. I just realized that lately, Nebraska, the raising cattle, and the Dakotas, and Arizona, and, and now in Texas, that's why I came home, I guess, because I realized it. This farm I work on, it, it's spring there now, see? And they got about 15 new colts. There is nothing more inspiring or beautiful than the sight of a man with a new colt. And it's cool there now, see? In, in Texas, it, it's spring. And whenever spring comes to where I am, I, I suddenly get the feeling, oh my God, I'm, I'm getting nowhere. What the hell am I doing playing around with horses for $28 a week? I'm 34 years old. I ought to be making my future. And that's when I come running home. And the minute I get here, I don't know what to do with myself. You know, I've always made it a point of not wasting my life. And every time I come back here, I know that's all I've done is to waste my life. You're a poet. You know that, Biff? You're, a, you're an idealist. No, I'm mixed up very bad. You know, maybe, maybe I ought to get married. Maybe I ought to get, you know, stuck in something. I'm not, I'm not married. I'm not in business. I, I'm like a boy, happy. You know, I just, I, I'm like a boy. Are you content? I mean, you're a success, aren't you? Are you content? Hell no. Why, you're making money, aren't you? All I can do now is wait for the merchandise manager to die. <laughs> and suppose I get the new merchandise manager. You know, he's a good friend of mine. He just finished building a terrific estate on Long Island. Hmm. And he lived there about two months and sold it. Now he's building another one. He can't enjoy it once it's finished. And I know that's just what I would do. I don't know what the hell I'm working for. You know, sometimes I sit in my apartment all alone. And I think of the rent I'm paying, and it's crazy, but then it's what I always wanted. My own apartment, a car, and plenty of women, and still, goddammit, I'm lonely. So why don't you come out west with me? You and I, huh? Yeah, we could buy a ranch, maybe raise some cattle, you know, work our muscles. The Loman brothers, huh? Men built like us ought to be outdoors, working our muscles. We'd be known all over the county. Oh, that's what I dream about. If, you know, sometimes I wish I could just rip my clothes off right in the middle of the store and outbox that gun. 
goddamn merchandise manager. You know, I can outbox, outrun, and outlive anybody in that store, and I have to take orders from these common petty sons of bitches till I can't stand it anymore. I'm telling you, kid, if you were out there with me, I'd be happy. Oh, see, Biff, everybody around me is so false that I'm constantly lowering my ideals. Oh, baby, you and I, we can look out for one another. We'd have somebody to trust. Because if I were around you... Hey, look, the problem is, we were never raised to grow up for money. I don't know how to do it. Neither can I! Let's go! Just one thing. What can you make out there? Oh, look at your friend. He builds, he builds an old estate and doesn't have the peace of mind even living. Yeah, but when he walks into the store, the waves part in front of him. That's $52,000 a year coming into the revolving door, and I've got more in my pinky than he's got in his head. You just said... It's how to show some of these pompous, self-important executives that half woman can make the grade. I want to walk into that store the way he walks in. Then I'll go with you, Biff. We'll be together yet, I swear. But hey, those two creatures we have tonight. Now, weren't they gorgeous? Well, most gorgeous I had in years. <laughs> I get that any time I want, Biff. Whenever I feel disgusted. The only trouble is it gets to be like bowling or something. I just keep knocking them over, but it doesn't mean anything. You still run a lot? Nah, nah. I'd like to find a girl. You know. Stay. Some little substance. That's what I long for. You never come home. Oh, I would. Somebody with character. Like mom, you know. Somebody with uh, resistance. Hmm? You're going to call me a bastard when I tell you this, but that girl, Charlotte, I was with tonight, is engaged to be married in five weeks. No kids. Sure, guys in line for the vice presidency of the store. Uh, I don't know what gets into me. It's like I got an overdeveloped sense of competition or something, but I went and ruined her, and furthermore, I can't get rid of her. And that's the third executive I've done that to now. Ain't that a crummy characteristic? And the pop at all, I go to their weddings. Like, I'm not supposed to take bribes. Manufacturers offer me a hundred dollar bill now and then to throw an order their way, and you know how honest I am, but it's like this girl, see? And I hate myself for it, because I don't want the girl. And still, I take it, and I love it. What's the matter? Let's go to sleep, all right? Guess we didn't settle anything, huh? Uh, I've got one idea. Uh, what's that? Remember Bill Oliver? Sure, Oliver's very big now. You want to work for him again? No, oh, no, no, but when I quit, he said something to me. He put his arm around me and said, Biff, you ever need anything, you come see me. I remember. That sounds good. I think I'll go see him. You know, if I could get $10,000, even seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000, I can build a nice range. Oh, I, I bet it back to Biff because you're well liked, Biff. I mean, they all say that. You are oh, well liked. That's why I'm saying you come here. We both have the apartment. I'm telling you, kid, any babe you want, you just say the word. Oh, no. no. See, with the ranch, I could do the, the work I love and, you know, make something of myself. And uh, I'm, I'm just wondering, though. I, I wonder if Oliver still thinks I stole that cart of basketball. I probably forgot that long ago. Anyway, you're too sensitive. Anyway, he didn't really fire you. Well, I, I think he was going to. I, I think that's why, you know, I quit. I, I never really knew if he found out or not. I mean, I know he thought the world would be half, but I mean, I was the only one he let lock up the place. Hey, Biff, you, you're gonna wash the engines. You hear that? Biff, don't get your sweater dirty! You know, Mom, can you hear that? Isn't that terrible? What is that? Okay, William. You'll find a job here. You gotta stick around. I don't know what to do about it. It's getting bad.